Hello guys, I believe I am live and uh, yeah, we're here. I'm trying to go on my phone. We're going to be doing a screen share because I want you guys to see like the back end of everything and it was just, it was just murder this way. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, I am hoping everybody starts joining in as you join in let us know who you are your challenges your uh successes for the last 30 days we would love to know that as i get other things together it's a lot of requests i'm doing um uh, i love you guys that you're participating and you guys are uh Oh, yes, I see. Okay. Hello, guys. I'm... Oh, shh. I got to turn my other mic down. <laughs> so I don't hear myself double. And we're going to go into comments. We're going to see how those comments are. Uh, hey, Lawrence and Karma. Thanks for joining us. Now I got to set this camera up here somewhere so I can see you guys. Okay, how is this going to work? Okay, I think we're all set up. So today, we're going to be talking about uh, just what the title says. And that is uh, setting up a story on your site. And uh, anything you guys want to know about uh, Kindle Vela. Uh, we're going to, so let me know if I'm boring you guys. <laughs> So we're going to get started. Hey, uh, Rediscovering Rocky. I see new comments. Oh, I can see over here. Oh my God. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. So we're going to first start with the Kindle Vela and then we're going to go into the, 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 uh, setting up a, a, a story from your site. So right now, uh, we're going to go into the dashboard. If you guys have the Kindle Direct Publishing and you just go to kdp.amazon.com, uh, you can follow along with me as well. So they have this new thing called, they have this new thing. I was making sure you guys can are following me along. I'm looking, I see a delay. <laughs> okay, so uh, they have this new thing called Kindle Direct Publishing. Um, managing Kindle Vela stories right here as you can see and then you can go into that from your Kindle um, direct publishing library and right now I have two stories as you can see uh, where we are one is finished and that she works hard for the money and we finished that uh, back in March and then uh, this is currently, I just did the final episode this week of this saga called uh, Her Substitute Husband, His Boss. And yeah, it was last modified earlier this week. And basically what these are, are episodic stories that your uh, readers pay to hear, um, to read. So right here, where you have the manager story, you would put your cover here, and that's how your cover appears. Even if your cover is square, your cover will appear just like that. And um, you, so you want to make sure that you got so much space to say to say so much because if I go over to Amazon, and then. And I type in her substitute husband, his boss. When you see the cover, it pops up like that. And then it goes into, hey, we still got our crown. So it goes into, this is all you see. Like I said, this is pretty much all you see. And so then you got to make sure you're seeing a lot with so little. <laughs> so you also get to know if your publishing status is live. Um, what's available in chapter 126 or oh, episode 126 was finally published today. Um, so yeah, see, it was finally published late last night. 
even though I, I had it there for a while. And then so each episode is here for the taking. So at right now I, I have 126 episodes and that is a lot. They're about 3,000 words long. You get to do uh, story tags, what kind of categories they're in, and then if you're doing this with other authors as well. Good morning, guys. I see you guys are jumping in. We already started with the Kindle Vela explanation, so if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Hi, Valerie, Stephanie, Sandra. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So basically, you're using Amazon's platform to tell a serial story one episode at a time and your readers go along with it. Currently right now, this story has over 400 readers going in and buying episodes to, to actually read. So that's pretty cool for me to <laughs> have. And that's why I have a crown. As you can see over here, that means I am a top fave. And so if you want to know how you are top fave, oh, and you get the first chapters, the first three chapters are free. So you can basically, and I can even show you how it looks. So they can go in and they can do it on their phone or they can, I believe you can see it on your Kindle now. And they could just basically read the book and it comes up as a mobile platform. And that's because these are supposed to be bites. So these are about 2,400 to three to three thousand words and then I even can put a note for the reader and you can add a poll and then your readers can actually give you thumbs up at the end and then they can just go to the next one so it's kind of, that's the cool part about it is that they can just keep reading keep buying and keep reading so let me show you how the coin, how the favorites work. So these are, this is the main Amazon store for Kindle Vela. And you'll see in top fave, I'm not on page one. I don't think so. No, I'm not on page one. I haven't checked in a couple of days. But I believe I am on page two. Yeah, there I am. So I am top fave number 44. And so you, it's 250 top faves. So it's like 10 pages. They only count up to 250 um, top faves. Um, and you get prevalent stuff. That's it. Welcome. Welcome, guys. So this is how the Kindle Vela works. And uh, you, get, uh, you get money for reads. So when people read your book, you get money for that and then you also get bonuses they're giving out bonuses until the end of the year where they uh will reward you for how much you put on the platform and since i put a lot then it's been a nice bonus and also how much you send people over to buy coins and things like that so it's a lot of things included so you get royalties and bonuses when you do so if you guys have any questions Thank you, Stephanie. I appreciate that. That's very sweet. Yeah, that, it's a lot of work. I'm not going to say, well, if you love storytelling and you you just want to make some extra gas money, then it is nice. So thank you very much. And I'm glad you guys can hear me because then I was worried you guys couldn't hear me because I'm using my my speaker from my my computer. Okay, so let's go over to... Uh, how do you set up a story on your website? So we're going to go into the back end of my sylviahubbard.com website. I'm on WordPress platform, wordpress.com platform. Um, and so we can basically go into the first post. So let's go over here. So currently right now, as I finish up, like I said, I finished up um, the Kindle Vela platform. And this is the, not to say, well, I'm trying to, wait, who here is on Kindle Vela? Thank you, Stephanie, for asking. If you guys here are on Kindle Vela, please drop your uh, links in the comments so you guys can read the books. And I'll even drop, you know, my link. So you guys, if you want to check out the first three 
chapters for free. You guys can. I think I can leave a comment. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so you guys can just check that out if you want to see and read the first three chapters. So the reason why I decided to add stories to my site, this isn't new to me. I have been doing episodic stories since like 2000 well actually honestly it's been 2009 that i've been doing episodic stories and i am able to so i'm able to write so it's different from writing fiction it's not just uh fiction you just get in and write a book and then post it you actually have to craft the story so each episode has kind of like a tiny a big cliffhanger or, or a large or small cliffhanger. You have to leave the red herrings around to, to keep the reader guessing of what's coming up or what you're doing and things like that. So you want to make sure when you're writing your fiction that it is bringing great mystery or intensity to the reader to get them to click on the next episode. So that's why... I'm I'm a little good at it because I have been doing it since 2009 um in this in this thing um in this realm on my website actually I've been doing uh several I've done at least 10 on my website So right now um we're starting with well we're I decided to take a break from Kindle Vela since I've done two and bring back traffic to my website with a kind of already planned out book that I was going to publish anyway. Um, and since I'm building up this episodic readers, because this is a difference between a fiction reader who just reads books and a serial reader as well. Some most some readers do not like just reading uh, one chapter at a time. Other readers they get they they get a lot of uh, fun from it because they get to interact with the author. Number one, they get to interact with the author. Number two, they, they also are able to feel like they're a part of helping you create the story. It's not like they give me, I mean, they give me suggestions and everything and then they end up, uh, they give me suggestions, but some most times I don't take their suggestions. If they give me a name, like sometimes I'll throw out, give me a last name uh, for this upcoming character, and they'll you know they'll throw out or hey uh, we're we're having dinner in a few days. Can you guys uh, throw me some suggestions for what they're gonna be eating? And they'll they'll throw that out, so they feel like they're really part of the story, and a lot of readers love that. Also, like you, you get you you start to build a community of readers. And that's what's important to me as a writer is that I want to build a community of readers. I want my readers to feel like they have some type of exclusivity to me while I'm doing it. So yes, I love, I would love to just sit in a corner and write, but then it's kind of fun to have the readers just sitting there waiting for me <laughs> and reading as I write it. And I don't know if you have to have a lot of confidence in your writing and I didn't because even in the first book that I ever I ever serialized I did erotic romance which I had never done before and I, I was very uncomfortable about it but I, I was in an uncomfortable space with people who really wanted to read the story and if you want to know that story it was a uh, mistaken identity that was my first one and I went ahead and turned around and published. So back in the day, my method was to come out with a live story, post it uh, blog by blog, and I can show you it. Um, let's see, we'll go into, I think it was beautiful. Uh, beautiful was, uh, let me see if I can find it um, in the categories. Categories uh beautiful let's see so if we go into beautiful uh i'll show you cancel so if we go into beautiful it has 65 that's how i know it's a book in there um when you go in there and then i view posts so how i would do it is that they would be able to read the book back in the day when i first started they almost read the book almost for free but 
what I would do then, I would start letting the first three chapters, as you can see, be free. And then starting, or this one is five chapters. First five chapters here were free. And then uh, they could literally, sorry, I got a touch screen, so it's sensitive. So then they would then pay for the password and then they could continue reading the story. So people literally would pay me for it. And that's how I'm going to show you what to do is how to set up your stories on there. There would be author notes in here and we can go into any one of them. Let's go here in the chapter 22 of Beautiful. And I'm going to show you all how I set up the e-commerce. And that's what the, is important is how the e-commerce. So first, I would set it up. And it's just a regular blog post style. Except right here, it's password protected. And then um, I would put the chapters all the same. So it's beautiful, chapter 22, live story. And this is because it's going out on the internet. So I am sending tags out for other things. And then it would be the author's note. If I, I was talking about a certain part of the city or if I was talking about a dress they had or anything like that, I would actually put pictures of it. And I do this right now, even in my Kindle Vella book. Like they can go on my, they, they read the story on Amazon and they can go into my Facebook group and see the pictures that inspired me to write about a certain section of the city because a lot of my books are based in Detroit. Well, all of my books are based in Detroit. So then they can see different parts of the city or what I'm envisioning or what I'm I'm trying to put into the book. <laughs> and so then this is pretty much all of like they, they can read the book just like they would on Kindle Vela and then bam. Now actually I put down copyright statements at the bottom. So I'm actually hiring uh, I know you guys are going to think I'm being bougie. I'm actually hiring a book VA who will go in and do all this and start putting copyrights on this. But really, um, and you guys, you know, I'm not really worried because once you put it in digital form, it's copywritten. So right now, as you can see, it was published on May 17, 2016. That means that's copyrighted from there. I, if somebody copies it, I won't get monetary damages, but I will be able to get a shutdown for them because if they copy my work. And that's why I really was, I've never been actually worried about somebody taking the stories or anything like that is because it is officially copywritten um, in a court of law. So, and, oh, so on here, on the sidebar, in my categories, how I set it up, I would put it under the story. That's how I was able to find beautiful. All the chapters to beautiful is because each post is under the same same kind of category. Um, you should add tags. At the, yeah, I actually did add tags. Look at me back then. So I would add all the tags that I needed in order to attract the audience that I want. And then um, I, would actually, I would have a featured image for each one. So I could do that and then I can control the comments and discussions. And if we go into this live preview, so let's go over to where it's housed at, take off the preview so we can see the comments um, underneath there. So the readers would come in. Oh, I forgot to get the uh, password. Let me go in there and get the password. Don't look guys, you guys can't see the password. I'm just kidding. I don't know, you guys can see the password if you want for this one. <laughs> so if I go here and I put the password in, and this is how it appears on my site. So they would be on my website, and then uh, in my blog part, it would be that same thing. But since this is a password protected, um, all that they, they would get the password on their uh, emails and then enter and each password is the same for the book so I put the password in the page reloads again and just like that they have the the story and they can just keep reading on and on so that's how they do it so we're gonna go into how they set up the e-commerce and if you guys have any questions just throw it out I am I am 
I am watching the screen. I'm looking side by side. I have my phone next to me so I can see the the comments. So if you guys have any questions. Okay, so that's how the reader, that's the reader's in. Now I'm going to show you how to do the writer's in of it. So right now I am setting up uh, Eve's Deception. I think I put it up here. So I'm setting up Eve's Deception and this is the main page. So what I do is I basically have right here, if you look up at the top, um, there's sylviahubbard.com and then uh, how I remember this page is because I can add a slug to my website and I'll show you guys how we do the slugs in a second so you'll understand what a slug is so I add so I can remember when I'm going out and promoting this and getting people to buy into my thing I can say hey guys I'm about to do a live story the live story is about to drop and you guys need to come in but I need to remember this so I have sylviahubbard.com slash ease deception so when I put that in it goes to that blog post which is called Eve's Deception. Now I've been trying to publish this book since about 2020. 2020. Yeah, I've been trying to put this book out since 2020. Going through some things, you guys know. <laughs> Everybody knows 2020. So I never put it out and it just stayed there up on my site ready to be uh as a live book. And then Kindle Vela came out in April of 2021 and I just decided on another book to see how the platform was. So Eve's Deception, I have a preview of the book and they can actually go to Story Origin and you guys know about that because we had it. So they can actually go and they can actually get a preview of the book and download it and I think it's the two, the first two prologues of the book. And then they can also, where I say, ready to read the live story while the author writes, click here. Do I have that link in here? Oh, no, I don't have the link. So we'll do that. Hey, we'll do, we'll show the link. So they'll actually be able to come here, read a little bit of the story. And then on top of that, at the bottom, I have all these prologues, prologue two. So these are the chapters that will be um, in the story. And it goes on and on and on. I think it's more than chapter 16, but I actually stopped there. And then uh, if they want to just get subscribed for chapter blog alerts, they can go here and there. So I set this page up actually to do that. And then of course I made a little Canva thing. And hold on. So we're going to edit some things and I'm going to show you how we need to edit some things. <laughs> Let me get that link. I gotta figure out how to get the link really fast to get them to pay for it. That would be cool, wouldn't it, Sylvia? So this is my shop, which is un incomplete, so don't look at my shop. Okay, so this is the setup where they can actually buy the password, which is gonna be on there. And this is, yeah, this is where they can be. And this is, I also have like, uh, I kind of like say this is where we're going to start in June. Um, you, the reader, have the opportunity for reading your episodic book. This is the actually the e-commerce site where they can pay. So they can pay by with Google Pay or they can pay with PayPal. I can see two of these, but it actually comes up one and Vimo doesn't come up and I, because I'm in the developer side. And then, of course, I say no tokens needed because I'm challenging Amazon, of course. And then I tell the reader the benefits of purchasing, interaction with the writer, getting firsthand preview, and they get the final book in Mobi or EPUB to reread. And I'll show you how to do that. And, of course, I put in red letters. This is for your eyes only, and they can uh, click wherever they want. And then I even have a customer service, especially will come straight to my email, and I can figure out why they didn't get it. And the and then it can see the preview and then anything like that. So right here we're editing the main Eve's Deception page and making sure they can click here to buy the book. And that's what I'm doing right now is click here to buy. And I'm also gonna show you how to do the slugs as well. Click here to buy. 
click here right now I'm just adding and I'm going to show you how to do all this so I have mentioned slugs previously so right here in my URL I can change my slugs to anything I want and that's what I changed it here to each deception so anytime they go to that sylviahubbard.com uh, slash Eve's deception they're coming to this page and it's an easy page to remember and the changes are instant so we're gonna go and guys let me know if you guys have any questions uh, we're gonna show you how oh we're gonna show you how we do Eve's deception set up on as the WooCommerce site uh, let me go. Oh, I could have just went into the WooCommerce thing. Hold on. So you guys can actually see how I set it. So I have WooCommerce on my website, which you can see up here. Um, they can shop and that. So I just set up WooCommerce into my setup. And so they have, this is where they can buy the private excess. So if I go into my shop, and like I said, I haven't, I'm deleting all these these weekend so all these different things that are not supposed to be here but they actually can come and get different books from me specialized books uh, for their own perusal uh, I think I have like two more things or I have one more thing a misguided passion they can get for free and then uh, Eve's deception so I have this as a private access that they can they can actually get and when they come here and shop they can actually buy the ticket so I'll show you how I set up in the background uh, this let me see if I can just go right into the is it an edit button down here new edit button okay so let me go into edit we'll edit this post so you guys can actually see how I set up the payment for this products we'll go to products and Eve's deception and this is why it's important because you have to get your own money which paid version of WordPress do you use I use the I do the business portion um, I am a business thing um, so it pays for itself I do so I get ads on my site which then when readers come in I'm actually getting money from them from just coming in and then um, so I'm doing the $25 business one and that was for Lissandra um, and then yeah so I do the $25 I decided not to do Wix because it doesn't have great search engine optimization so with doing this on WordPress I get more international readers then I would and and with uh, and then I can also pull over my Kindle Vela over he here and put it for private access as well as long as I have it behind a paywall I can't get in trouble pulling my stuff off 30 days and putting it wherever I want to so actually for her substitute her substitute husband his boss I'm going to pull it off and and do private access over here eventually it's just a huge story it's 333,000 words so I'm going to uh, pull it down break it into I'm gonna have my story VA break it down into four chapters four books and then put it over here so people can actually read the whole book so this is how I set it up like it is it's just a blog post I put down the name of the 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 private access into it and that's more or less to remind me this is what they bought when I see their receipt come through so it tells me what they bought and then I put an explanation of what it is I have um, I put it under it has its own product category so I know like where it's going um, and then also uh, I, you can put all the links in here as well then you can also put the cover over that so then that's where that cover comes from uh, and anything like that so you can basically just fill this out I try to make sure nothing is left I gotta put the tags in there which I haven't and then I can actually do that on here let me show you one thing let me see where is it at product data should be over here um, so 
one of the things that is important is that they can I'm trying to see where the receipt is you can actually put the receipt on here and then tell them what they're going to be getting once I once I figure out where I can put the receipt the attributes custom product attributes advance oh purchase notes so it's actually right here if I can move this over it's being a butthead right now oh there it is so uh, so this is where I can put on here and then when they have the, when they get a purchase it goes to their email and plus on their wet on their screen they'll get thank you for your purchase your password is blank but I can say thank you for your Eve's deception private access story purchase your password is and then it actually if I scroll keep scrolling you'll see the password to the site uh, to the story which of course I'm not gonna show you <laughs> oh thank you I hope you are enjoying it that is so sweet good morning Ayana I hope I'm saying it Ayana that is pretty okay so and then that makes it so they can actually buy this uh, story and then I've already started setting up the chapters and I'll even show you so if I go in here and I go into schedule so it's scheduled to start June 13th so right now I've already scheduled and you can see I have other stuff scheduled too um, I've already scheduled like prologue 1, 2, and chapter 1. Now the reason why I scheduled these all on the same day is that I know prologue 1 and 2 are already free, but I wanted to have it part of the blog post itself. And they come out each hour, and then by 8 a.m., chapter 1 is going to be released. The chapter, The first chapter they haven't seen. And the reason why I'm doing this is because uh, I like I like to put the post in before eight like before nine o'clock because most people get to work by then and they like to sit at work and like read the chapter either on their break or their lunch break or something and then they'll add comments to to it as well so it kind of makes it uh, fun for them as they are going through the day so I try to have all my posts in before 8 o'clock in the morning I've scheduled chapter 2 already to go out on Wednesday and then on Friday so when you're doing this is a note for anybody who's doing episodic or serialized books it when you're doing it uh, productivity should be at least a minimum of three times a week if you want good feed if you want good readership should be at least a minimum of three times a week and you should give them at least between 1,400 to 3,000 words in each post. I try not to go over 3,000 words, and it gives me it gives them enough enough reading um, that is worth it. And then also, it helps me build good cliffhangers in all of that. So right now, these posts are running um, each chapter for this story is running at least between up to 3,000 words like a like a low 3,000 words I think I've went over it a little bit like a hundred words or so but that's basically what, uh, what I've accomplished I'm not gonna make any money from it most likely because usually by the time I get to I'm I'm pushing it on websites Facebook groups and so forth and so on um, most likely I'm probably gonna get at least about a hundred or so readers and that's ten dollars a pop so that's pretty cool for me I get my money in advance um, not compared to Kindle Vela where I get my money at the end so it, it it's it's kind of like a, a better payoff for me if I do it here um, I just I just have a better reach on Kindle Vela it's just the distribution but those readers who were following me on Kindle Vela are now going to come over here and follow me because I've already started getting people paying for it. So that's kind of cool. And that's how I pretty much set it up. And I am just basically going through the, the motions of 
just writing the story. Now, how I have the story set up, uh, it's just basically I write. I am just a, a planner and I, a plotter. No, a pantser. I'm sorry. And I just basically just write the book. And it's each chapter is broken up into episodes or, ep or prologues and so forth and so on. And then I basically just post them into a post. I do do some form of editing. Hold on. I do do some form of editing and I'll show you that. So I go into my Grammarly account and then I basically break it down. See, as I showed you, I have all her substitute husbands here and it's a lot. <laughs> um, but I do break it down into uh, each chapter and, and I go in to do it. So now I'm at chapter four, as you can see, that I have to get that done. I have to take a small break because I'm actually doing audiobooks with Find Away Voices and I'm going through it and making sure it reads well for my uh, speaker. So I'm going through and making some changes on each one. This is why Dark Facade is over here because I'm actually using my weekend uh, other than to talk to you guys to edit those two books to edit that one book so she can start uh, recording as of Monday but that is basically how I put together a live story on my website so if you guys are interested in it or you guys are interested in the Kindle Vela um, doing it or doing a live story on your website and it can be and honestly from working with LaShonda Hoffman um, and she has fiction on Kindle Vela. So her book, we can actually get to it. She has a fiction book. So even if you don't think you can do it, LaShonda's doing actually nonfiction on, on her book. So she actually has a nice following on there. Let me get down to it. So she's doing fiction and nonfiction on her. So you can do this actually on your website or in here. So she's doing a building your readership book um, here and she has about four seasons. My book is about five seasons. Her book is four, uh, her nonfiction book is four and she has set up her nonfiction book on Kindle Vela here where you can uh, take a look at it. So if you are a nonfiction author and you would love to try nonfiction and on Kindle Vela, I'm not going to say you're not going to get like a whole bunch of people because a lot of people were geared to like romance or paranormal. Um, but she has built a nice following for herself in the nonfiction realm and has gotten crowned a couple of times for this book. So, yeah, I, hey, if you are nonfiction, you can do it. And, of course, like I said, you can do it on your own website as well where you can sell the password now how they're gonna get the book at the end that's the last thing hold on what time is this okay so how they get the book at the end is actually through my gumroad site and I've told you guys about like I do use gumroad here and it's gumroad.com I probably should be putting these resources somewhere so you guys can actually see <laughs> that's why I use KDP Amazon um, and then I have WordPress.com as my website. And then this is Gumroad. Gumroad.com. Okay, so let me put these in the comments. Blah, blah. So you guys can kind of keep up. I apologize. Nobody said anything. Da, 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 da. So that's the KDP. That is... Uh, if you're interested, building your own website with WordPress. Here's the WordPress there. And then this is Gumroad. This is where I'm at right now is Gumroad. Okay, so right now I do use Gumroad and this is my Gumroad site. And I can like, so you guys can actually see what I'm looking at a little bit up close. So here I have like, 
you guys have downloaded the different meetup notes, the monthly calendar stuff, but I also have my free books. So I go into fiction and I have free books here. So here I will actually at the end upload the book here and I can actually give the book away to readers. Uh, and it's password it's kind of protected so that if they do decide to share it it'll have all their uh, information at the bottom and I can actually see who's sharing oh thank you thank you for putting your uh, uh, thing there Lissandra yeah so everybody can see your stuff as well I know I love Linktree I love Linktree <laughs> so really they can come here and I can I can actually sell electronic content here to them and it's protected the PDF is actually protected um, so when they do uh, read it here and I can put it up here as a Mobi or a EPUB file so if they want to put it in their Kindle they can so that's where the readers are going to get and then I can give things away for free here as well easily now I am figuring out WooCommerce and I know it is a way they can get it there but I don't know about the password protected kind of thing um, I, I think I have to install an app for that for the the files to be protected and I'm still working on that and then eventually I'll have all my fiction books over there as well hopefully so yes if you guys got any questions about it oh what kind of authors are on here so for Kindle Vela, like I said, the kind of authors that are on here are, uh, there's children authors, they, there are, um, for Kindle Vela, there's children authors, nonfiction authors, um, we can go into, uh, so many because these are the, what right now, these are the top popular tags, romance, fantasy, adventure, magic, mystery, love, coming of age. Um, what else? Humor, steamy, thriller, paranormal, suspense. These are what readers are reading right now. Supernatural, urban, science fiction, young adult, monsters, explore, paranormal, contemporary, erotica. I'm on erotica. See, I'm on the top popular tag, which is kind of cool. Yay, look at me. And enemies to lovers. So there are different tropes here that are popular with readers right now. And I believe right now they said it's kind of like, um, it's a it's a lot of writers here. I want to say between 50 to 100,000, probably even more. But that was back in, when I last checked, it was back in December. So I it, it, a lot of people have jumped on here because the bonuses are like gravy. <laughs> so they have it so a lot of people they actually on their main page they'll show completed stories regularly updated stories and also uh, they'll feature books as well and recently added stories if you want to see uh, right here if we go up to where was I where was I oh so if we go up to like the erotica tag where my story is so when people come in, if they're looking for erotica, I'm on the top part of that. And then they are able to see me. So I'm right here on the third one. And then it's other books. So most most times, and then it's not even if you have a crown. So like even books that don't have crowns are featured here. And it's pretty cool because you made a list. And that's what the authors do like about that is because you can make a list. And there are kids' books over here as well. Um, like I said, it's nonfiction books. There's religious books. There's commentary books. Um, let me see. Did I miss anybody else's question? Da -da, which paid version do I use? Um, I think I've answered everybody. Hold on. I'm going down. So, yeah. I believe I've answered everybody's questions about it so like I said this is the Kindle Vela but like I, you can also do it on your website and learn how to do it then that's how this is how I do it for my readers to make money and usually by the end I am going to make a nice bank because some people just wait for me to finish the book and then they'll buy the book at the time I'll probably put the book up once I get done with this book I'll put I'll leave it as as a, a 
a serial version of the book so other people can come in and they'll pay ten dollars and then um once i get it fully edited i put it over in uh either kindle unlimited or i'll put it over in my kindle library or put it in mass distribution they added a perk for kindle vela readers last weekend and i got a ton of organic reads yeah they did they added like a hundred i got yeah i did get a ton of organic readers and it actually boosted my Facebook uh, group. So I have an, a Facebook group. And I know you guys are going to say, Oh my God, Sylvia, how could you have another group and not just us? <laughs> well, I have to put my reader somewhere. So actually, it boosted my Facebook group membership almost a, a little bit over, uh, over five. I actually hit 500 members in my Facebook group. Um, and this is where, the, actually, I'm going to show you they're reading the last part of her substitute husband his her substitute husband his boss and they've already started adding comments under so the readers are actually discussing as you can see here they're literally discussing the book so they they've posted it here and they've read part one of the addendum and then they're now reading part two so um, by the time this is over with, we'll probably have 30 comments going back and forth about how they feel about the story. And this way I can draw them off of Amazon, bring them here, and then actually tell them, hey, sign up for my newsletter, sign up for my blog, this is what else I'm doing, this is what my friends are doing, and things like that. So I actually uh, be able to talk to my readers and get in touch with them is a really powerful thing and I'm able to sell even more to them because they're companionship stories and so forth and I'm able to to get them somewhere else I need to get the point is you need to get them off of Amazon and into your realm or get some kind of email from them this is why this is done so if you want to know why would I want to do a serialized story on my blog or Kindle Vela it is to generate readership, which is what you're supposed to be doing anyway. <laughs> you want to generate readership. And then on top of that, you want to take that readership and get uh, more from it by getting emails out of it. And then you're able to sell more to them when you come out with your next book. Because maybe your next book won't be on Kindle Vela. It will be just a regular book. So you can get them come into the group and then get them into that whereas even if I do it on my website I have an active audience there and I have I, they can subscribe for updates uh, and then I can get them to know about other stuff that I'm doing and sell more things to them so either way you are building a readership no matter what you are doing whether you're writing Christian religion inspirational romance Nonfiction children's book it is this is serialized fiction and episodic fiction is a way for them to come in and actually be able to uh read your stuff and that's why i do it basically that's basically why i do it because it provides an audience for me that i'm able to control that's what you're trying to do and it helps Girl, create your herb and create your reader group. Yeah, and that's what you should be doing, Lysandra. That's what you actually should be doing is using this to build readerships because that's what the most complaints I get from all the new readers is that they are not, that no one's buying their book or no one's reading their stuff. Well, this is a way for you to do it so you can. And this is like one of the, one of my best ways that I have, because a lot of people say, well, Sylvia, you have so many readers. Um, basically, I can show you in the categories how many times I've literally done this. Where is it? So if we go to categories and we go to books, uh, I have done this, I think, almost over 20 times, literally. So... I have uh, Beautiful, I've done it with Beautiful, I started with Betrayed, um, I have Black's Innocence, that's on here, uh, I did a little bit of Sin, 
post and that's a guarded post as well um here's diamonds in the rough i did um i'm starting to do eve's deception then i am doing her substitute boss her substitute husband his boss i didn't do it on here but i did the author's notes on here i'm sorry i did her his substitute wife that's what i was saying i did his substitute wife on here and i actually have to go back with my book va and and do those posts i did hope is love on here i did mistaken identity that was one of the first ones i did um i did daddy's girl on here and I did, I'm trying to see which ones I did. I did Emperor's Addiction on here. Um, and that's it for right now. But I've, yeah, but I think it's more stories on here. Actually, I don't think I have it under books. I got to go in here. Oh, yeah, it is on more stories. <laughs> down here. <laughs> down here. Then I need to move up. But they're actually, I've done this several times on my blog in order to generate readers into, into, to buy more books from me. And each book, and I can, I can say, I actually keep up with, uh, her substitute. Nope. Hold on. Let's see. As if I can remember it off the top of my head. Ha ha ha. This is how I, her substitute has, so this is how I remember where my books are. Um, on my website so actually each book has a companion book to it that means I mention a character from another book and they're able to actually buy these books so right now the Kindle Vella that they're reading readers have also the option of meeting other characters in other books and they can actually go and read about those characters in other books and they can come here and I can often refer to them to come here and see what books they have and be able to go so like I mentioned Beck Hardy from she works hard from the for the money um, I, I mentioned Jalen Gates in there and then ha, <laughs> that's funny all this time my battery needs low <laughs> that would be bad <laughs> um, so where was I? Oh, so Jalen Gates book is Stealing Innocence 1. So they can actually come here. I click over here and then they can go and buy the book. Literally come over here and then it makes me more money. So it's kind of like a, a, a roving, just a circular funnel in order to get them to buy more books from me. And it works. So... If I, you guys don't have any more questions about it and my process, so you'll be seeing through the month of June me post out Eve's Deception and readers coming to my website. And then I am actually going to get back on Kindle Vella by, June, by August, the end of August. Get my life together in July, but um, by the end of August, by the middle of August, I will be pushing more another a new book so I just like I said you guys know I keep up with all my books literally in my uh, notebook where I have all my book lists let me see if I can find it really fast and because I have so much to do so uh, is it under the yeah so it's under the book Bible so basically I list all my books here who they are, who's the characters inside, and things like that, and any serials that are involved. So I keep them all here in my book Bible. And then I also have like all my work in progress. So actually this tab, because this is She Works Hard for the Money. Uh, no, this is her substitute husband, his boss. I actually started making a cover for it. And so then, because I'm eventually, I'm gonna move it to my website. And so now I can actually move this tab over to my book Bible tab and take off story idea. But as you can see, uh, I put all my story ideas in here and I think it goes up to like 61. Yeah, we're at 61. I think this should be 62. And that's basically how everything works for me. <laughs> I do.
it's yeah uh, it's a complicated so that's how I kind of keep up with my stories and that's how I make money because then I know I have more books to come um, and I'm constantly funneling more ideas into it and so I can put it on my website I can put it on Amazon and this is the kind of like tell you guys you don't have to depend on Amazon to make money a lot of people get so focused on I gotta put this book up on Amazon or I gotta put it out in distribution in order to get them but no you can you can make a considerable and I I when I am doing a lot of uh, uh, books like this serial books like this um, I think one year I did uh, six books on my website and I literally that year I generated in my literary side close to like twenty five thousand dollars from writing six books that year and it, it was basically just from writing these books online and generating readers to come in there and and read chapter by chapter and so I'm, I'm being very transparent in terms of like this is what I did in order to get it so that's why I'm I mean I'm letting you guys know like you don't have to depend on getting your book out into a distribution channel you can run a, a very profitable book business just from your website alone um, by selling you know the book as chapters by selling the book as a whole you know and just keeping the readers interested in what you do you use some of your characters for episodic yes I just showed them um, so in the current book I have uh, I'll show you uh, in the current book I have uh, her substitute wife her substitute husband his boss there are carryover characters that have their own book so one of them is a lawyer that they have to deal with and his name is Tyler Black and Tyler actually has his own book which is called Black's Innocence and they can actually click here and go here and actually buy the book and it's available wherever books are sold so yeah it's available at Amazon Barnes and Nobles and they can do uh, reviews on Goodreads and Smashwords so they can actually buy the book so it actually keeps them going in a circular so by the time they read that episodic story they have a whole bunch of other books to catch up with as I then publish even more books for there so yes I have and then I have a, several other books that are in the works that needs to be finished um, but they can always go in and buy and then I have constant free books on the website because I do story starters as well on my site so that my site is filled with so much that a reader can take and stay on and what you're trying to do one of the secrets is, is that you want to actually get them to spend at least 10 minutes on your site before they even it, a new reader comes to your site if you can get them to spend at least 10 minutes there then you can literally get they they want to buy something that after 10 minutes they are they they have a, a notion to buy something because they've spent so much time there so you want to try to get them there to spend so that's why like on the sidebar you see I have free books that they can go into um, and those are basically just story starters that I'm eventually gonna flesh out into books or they are free novellas that I actually do either on Amazon already they were perma free books so when they go in here so say it's the you saw where it has the um, diamonds you see diamonds in the rough um, they can actually come here also and get diamonds in the rough for free I made it perma free on uh, and that's what you'll see that word a lot perma free but I made it perma free here on Amazon as well and you can actually get the book for free here it's zero cost um, and that's just to get them interested in the story so then I can get them more stories and they can just just like a never-ending cycle and that's what you want to try to produce is a never-ending cycle into your uh, catalog and then I can always sell my back catalog which is kinda cool so yeah that's cool so anyways I'm going to uh, it's going on 11 o'clock I have things to do I have an interview to do and I'm going to the hustle and grind book fair today so if you guys are out and about you want to stop in and support Michelle more <laughs> you guys can do that 
um, go out and see some some authors and support them and then I'm gonna try to get some sleep because you know I rarely do that <laughs> so if you guys have any more questions or you're watching this on the replay then drop some questions and I'll be still looking in the comments for it I know we had a regular speaker scheduled but I didn't get time to schedule her and I do apologize for that so we're gonna have her back it looks like my refrigerator door has been open this whole time I don't know why I'm getting worried now so I gotta really go <laughs> you guys thank you <laughs> have a great day too thanks Marilyn thank you and if you guys have any questions or if you're trying to set this up on your site and you you have some uh, back questions just DM me or email me and I'll answer any kind of questions or figure out because this system I set up um, so long ago that still worked um, that's why I'm showing you it because it worked then it's gonna work now um, and this is how I do it. There's other uh, there's other platforms you can use. I'm gonna let you know. There's other platforms you can use. You can go to Radish. Um, there there's other sites like that that you can use. I'm just trying to keep it as close to home as possible and not stretch myself thin. So this is how I I do it on my website. Eventually, I'm gonna change the way my website is set up because it is kind of like spread out. And I kind of want to reel it in and make it look prettier. Um, but I do like that uh, there. Where's the book fair located at? Boy, don't get me the line. I don't, I, I just put it in my thing. Okay, so the Hustle and Grind is located. Let's see if it'll look it up. Hey, look at here. The Hustle and Grind is located at 14104 Greenfield Road, Detroit, Michigan, 4227. That's about right where my dad lives where is that oh yeah I know where that's at hey there's the map right there so yeah they're gonna be over there I'm gonna be checking that out um, a little bit after after 3 3 30 I'm gonna be headed that way because I have an interview at 2 but right now I'm gonna go take a nap and then before my interview then I gotta go look pretty <laughs> go there so thank you guys. Give me some thumbs up, some love if you enjoyed this. So I know that you guys did. Um, I'm going to keep this one up in our thing. And so you guys, if you have any questions about how to sell on your site, um, please go ahead and let me know. This is how I do it. And it's been working for me. Um, I have an, a nice back catalog I can choose from. Boy, you better look at that thing. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Let me let you see that thing. So, I think it's from 12 to 6. 12 to 6. And it's all today. So, they have they have international New York Times bestseller authors out there as well. So, yes. If there's no more questions, I'm going to get out of here. I want to thank you guys for joining us. And I want to thank you guys for participating in our groups and everything. We are going to be doing this uh, virtual to the end of the year. Hopefully by then the world will clear up. <laughs> we can we can actually go out in in public, um, and the libraries will be back open. So uh, next month I don't know who I have planned. Don't give me the lion, but hopefully we can we'll we'll be back on track. I'm gonna sell 99 cent stories on my site. Um, see you're gonna get me to talking again. So. Um, I don't do 99. I think I, I, the lowest I do on my site, well, I, I will do free, but, um, I think I have it, one of them, yeah, I do the 190, I do them as 199. I think you can do nine, yeah, because I have this as a dollar. So, and actually for here, these are, this one's broken into part one and part two, and they're each, uh, they go up. So one is a, the first one is a dollar. And then the second one, I kind of keep it simple of a dollar. I don't know why I don't want to do 99 cents. So I do a dollar. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I have it here where they can get part one and then part two is two forty nine, And then actually a part three of this book is in the works right now. Um, and then it'll be, uh, the, that one will be $3. So basically, I, they'll they'll they can buy all all these parts and keep coming back. So yeah, you can if you want. 
and I actually do have this integrated into my website somehow I figured it out one time and now <laughs> I, I do have it integrated where they can eventually like I said I'm gonna move all this fiction once I figure out WooCommerce onto my site I'm gonna keep this as my nonfiction the gumroad as my nonfiction but right now I'm kinda over there because I had this before I figured out WooCommerce so yes yeah but you can I'm not saying you can't but you can because people do come here and actually do when I uh, I do promote this um, these fiction books um, and these are the books that I do not put on Amazon because I know I probably get my butt kicked for it or I just want to keep it exclusive and and the readers do come over here and buy these stories so yes you can do it Lissandra so don't think that you can I just want people to know that you don't have to be dependent upon the website or the or the Amazon or the Barnes and Nobles in order to sell your books you can sell from your website as well and make money from it so don't limit yourself at all okay so let me let you guys go I really gotta go stop asking questions <laughs> stop making me answer <laughs> okay bye guys thanks for joining me